So, yeah, there you go. That one was good. That one was good. Good job, good job. Hello, I'm Amy, the bunny lady. And this is my partner, Elusive, Ellie for short. <laughs> and today we're going to show you a trick. We're gonna show you how to teach a rabbit to give you a high five. <laughs> so, teaching rabbit to give you a high five is actually a kind of difficult trick. It was the first one that I ended up teaching um, a rabbit, my, my old rabbit, Tenshi. Um, it was the, the first trick I tried teaching her, which probably not the best choice because it is a rather difficult trick. But, you know, it was successful. We figured it out together. And, um, yeah, now I can, I've taught my bun here, Ellie, and I can teach you guys how to get those awesomely cute high fives from your awesomely cute little bunnies. So let's get started. There are two things that you're going to want before you start training this trick. One is a clicker. This is um, a dog training device. Um, it's, you give it a little click when your rabbit does the behavior that you want them to do. Every time you do a click, you have to give them a treat, no matter what, even if you made a mistake. <laughs> Every time you click, you give them a treat. Um, and it helps them associate their behavior with the treat. Um, it kind of is a bridge. So it makes training a little bit, a little bit easier. Um, I have a, I have a post on my blog kind of explaining clicker training and how it works if you, and why it works, if you want to uh, check it out, I'll put a link in the description below. And so you can check that out if you want more information on clicker training. Um, but you want, the first thing that you want is a clicker. Um, if you don't have a clicker, what you can do is um, use, your, use your mouth <laughs> to be kind of that sound. You just have to make sure you make a consistent sound over and over again. So what I'll do if I don't have a clicker, or if I have a rabbit who's scared of the clicker sound, I will make a clucking sound, so... That kind of sound. I'll make a clucking sound to let them know to kind of be a stand-in for the clicker. It's a little bit less scary than a loud clicker sound. Um, and that way, if, if you don't have one, you can still, you can still do just fine. <laughs> I love you. Um, the other thing that you're going to want is high value treats. So I have little strawberry pieces and little banana pieces, um, uh, dried, dried strawberries and dried bananas. Um, and you just, high value treats are just the kind of treat that your rabbit is going to go for, kind of no matter what, they're just going to love, love this treat and love training with you because they have a chance to get an awesome treat. Uh, some rabbits are also okay with using something like their pellets. So I have a little one for pellets here. And some rabbits will love them enough that that'll work too. When we think about a trick that we want to teach a rabbit, we have to, oh, you want to give me a high five? We have to kind of break it down into its small steps. So when you think about it, what do you want your rabbit to do? You want them to lift their paw and then touch your hand. And you want them to be able to do that when you give them the cue for a high five or low five. Uh, so those are the steps that we need to think about. First, lift their paw. That's step one. And we have to work on it in, in those small increments. First step, you will use the clicker and just watch your rabbit. And as soon as they lift their paw, for whatever reason, you can hit the clicker. And then after a while, they'll start to figure out why they're getting a treat. Um, they'll be paying attention to when do they hear the clicker sound? Oh, it's when I lift my paw. So then they'll get a treat. Now, for rabbits, they're not often, I mean, sometimes they will, but they're not always going to just lift one paw at a time. So I find it easier to do like when they go to Periscope or something like that, um, where they, they might just lift, lift, they might lift both paws at the same time instead of just one. That's totally okay. Um, cause that's a more natural way that rabbits move than just lifting one paw. Um, so click when they lift their paws. That is step one. And you're gonna be focusing on that until your rabbit gets it. That could be a day, that could be a week, or it could be longer depending on your rabbit. 
So you just want to watch them very closely and then time the clicker with the lift of their paw. And until they get that, you don't want to move on to step two. Okay, let's do a demonstration. Ellie! Hey, Sally. Ellie! There you go, good job. I'm teaching her to come at her name too. Isn't that pretty cool? So let's do a demonstration. First, let's come over here. Let's come over here. Let's come over here. Okay, so first we want to pay attention to her paw. See how she lifted it there? That means she gets a treat. So we start by, we start by getting them to lift up. Watch your paw. There you go. <laughs> yes, yes. So it can help to lure them up a little bit on the first step. So lure them up. <laughs> Oop. Lure them up a little with the treat so that they can, um, so that they can And you keep doing that. Now you need to focus on the second step, which is getting your rabbit to touch your hand. Now the easiest way to do this is to, um, since your rabbit already knows that they need to lift their paw to get a click and a treat, you will put your hand down, put your hand down kind of where your rabbit is, where your rabbit would naturally put their paw down, and then click when they, when they touch your hand, when they put their paw down on your hand and give them a treat for that. And you, you want to put your hand up to like one side of their body where they would naturally touch it so that they're only touching it with one paw. Because the mistake that I made the first time I taught this trick was I would give uh, my rabbit the, tri the, the click when she touched my hand with both paws. And then it was really difficult to teach her that she's only supposed to do a high five with one paw after she'd already learned that she can get a treat, a tr treat for touching my hand with both paws. So um, to, to not <laughs> make that mistake, you want to put your, paw, put your hand down onto one side of your rabbit so that they will only touch your hand with one paw. And then they'll, you can kind of start getting that, that association early on. And you don't have to then add another step where, where you have to teach them just one paw. I find that step two is the most difficult step for them to understand. Um, so sometimes breaking it down into smaller smaller pieces works. So first having them just naturally put their paw down on your hand, um, and then after they seem to be getting it, kind of move your hand away a little bit and see if they'll go for your hand. And then move your, move your hand a little bit farther away still and see if they'll still go after your hand. And then once they kind of get the hang of it, then then you can move on to step three. And then for step two, come on. You wait for, you put your, you'll put your hand on the ground kind of where they will naturally end up touching it. Lift it up a little bit. And when they touch their, when they touch your hand at the bottom, that's when you click it. And then when they touch your hand, they do, do it that way. Lift up and then click when they get back to the ground. And keep doing that until she until they get it. And then switch to, nope, just one paw, just one. Now step three is just adding in the hand motion so that they can know, okay, when I do this, I want a high five. Or when I do this, I want a high five. Um, de depending on the rabbit, one or the other might be easier. Um, Generally giving a low five, so with your hand angled down to the ground like that is easier, both um, because your rabbit will, like, the surface will be pointed up towards them and they'll be able to, and it's um, very similar to what they'll see on the ground. So it's usually an easier first step of just raising your hand off the ground and having them go for your hand. Um, and then after a while, you, I, uh, I start doing the high five with the hand angled up so that they can touch my hand um, like kind of a little higher up and um, 
sometimes it ends up being, I don't necessarily have the best flexibility in my wrist, so sometimes it ends up being a little bit angled towards their face, which uh, some rabbits might um, get a little scared if you tried that right away uh, with something angled towards their face, so, or get confused at the very least. So I find it easier to start with a low five and then move to a high five. You want to, you know, keep using the clicker at first so that as soon as they, as soon as they touch your hand, they get a click and they get a treat. And then they will, over time, they will associate that with, um, with, you know, I touch their hand and get a treat. This is not the easiest trick to teach, so don't feel bad if you can't get it right away. Um, the first time, the first time I taught a rabbit this trick, it took me probably more than a month to be able to get her to, to really understand the trick and to be able to do it all the time. Uh, but now, uh, it's just my favorite trick because it's the cutest thing to <laughs> have a rabbit that will give you a high five. Switch to. There you go. There you go. Good job. Good job. And I'm breaking up the treats into little pieces so that I don't end up giving her too much. <laughs> and then you're going to start by doing a low five, which she'll, they'll usually, which they can start to get. And then you'll switch to doing a high five. Yeah. And you'll want to keep clicking as you go. Um, after a while, you can stop using the clicker once they start to get it. So, yeah, there you go. That one was good. That one was good. Good job. Good job. Good luck. I do have a blog post that kind of goes over the details of step by step what you have to do in case you're one of the people, one of those people that learns better by reading things. And uh, I will link to that in the description below. If you're interested in more videos about rabbits, rabbit care, rabbit tricks, um, anything to do with rabbits really, <laughs> you can subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll be coming out with a new video every week. Uh, so I do hope to see you next time and have an awesome day.